Once upon a time, in a little village nestled near a lush forest, lived a kind-hearted boy named Peter. Peter had a special gift. He could talk to animals. Every day he would venture into the woods and have conversations with the creatures that lived there. One sunny morning, as Peter strolled through the forest, he noticed a distressed squirrel named Sammy. "'What's the matter, Sammy?' Peter asked with concern. Sammy explained that he had lost his acorn stash and was worried about surviving the coming winter. Determined to help his furry friend, Peter offered to assist in finding the lost acorns. They searched high and low, but to no avail. Disheartened, Peter apologized to Sammy, thinking he had failed. But just as they were about to give up, a wise old owl named Oliver swooped down and asked what the problem was. Peter explained their predicament. Wise Oliver hooted, Peter, sometimes the answers lie within ourselves. Puzzled, Peter pondered Oliver's words. Suddenly, he had an idea. He suggested they gather acorns together and create a new stash for Sammy. Oliver praised Peter's brilliant plan. With newfound enthusiasm, they gathered acorns from the forest floor, and Peter climbed up the tallest tree, carefully storing each acorn in the branches. Sammy watched with joy as his new stash began to grow. From that day forward, Peter and Sammy worked together, not only to secure Sammy's future, but also to help other animals in need. They learned that by combining their strengths and helping one another, they could accomplish great things. The villagers marveled at the newfound harmony between humans and animals. And as Peter continued to listen to the forest's whispers, he became an inspiration to everyone, reminding them of the power of compassion, cooperation, and the beautiful bond between humans and nature. And so, the little village thrived, thanks to the lessons learned from Peter's adventure, teaching everyone that no matter how small or big, we can all make a difference when we work together with kindness in our hearts.